It's uh, 29 degrees out in the garage. And we're going to install this external breather system from uh, DK Customs. And we'll be installing it on this uh, 2020 Triglide right there. And the first thing we'll do is take this uh, air cleaner off. And that's what the uh, air cleaner element uh, looks like. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you this right here. This is the uh, uh, head breather right there, and then the head breather tubes are connected to that. And it goes up around, and right there is a T where another tube goes down into the air cleaner element. And it goes into the air intake, and that's where the oil gets uh, sprayed into the cylinder. And then it goes over to the left side uh, head breather, and where it's connected to the head uh, breather tube here. Okay, so I really like how these OEM uh, tubes just pop off the nipple, and they kind of just snap on there too. So I decided that uh, I'm just going to reuse the OEM uh, tubing to uh, finish this project. Uh, I tried to use the uh, the kit uh, tubing, which is it's good, uh, but when I actually uh, stuck the kit tubing on there, and it goes on real nice like that, then I zip tied it. But every time I wanted to move it around, it kept coming off, and I zip tied it on pretty hard too. But uh, you know, I want to move it down like that, and it just kind of kept coming off. But uh, I suppose a person could work around it. But uh, I'm just gonna use these uh, OEM ones here. I'll put a, I'll probably use the uh, kit one to come off this T though. Okay, I'm gonna pull the air cleaner uh, element here and show you. Uh, this is the, uh, the T tube that tees off the tube and goes into the uh, air cleaner element. And then uh, this tube shoots the excess of oil into the air intake. And there's actually no evidence of any excess of oil whatsoever inside at all, just a little uh, gritty feeling, uh, but really no evidence of any uh, excess of oil being sprayed in there. And I've got 9,000 miles on the motorcycle. I'm going to pull this tube out right here. And I will replace this tube probably with a kit tube uh, to go to the uh, CAT scan. And also, this hole right here, I'm going to have to plug that hole. And I'll probably use. Uh, so. All right, I'll uh, get to that and show you what's next. Okay, I pulled the uh, air cleaner and the tubes out of the way, and I just wanted to show you these air box intake screens. And here they are. And they're, they're pretty good sized screens. Uh, both of those are. And if you run around to the front of the screen right here, you can see that the whole front of this uh, uh, air cleaner box is just a one big screen. So. You know, you're getting a lot of air going in there, especially at 55 and 60 miles an hour. And of course, we've got the, the front cylinder here, and we know that it puts out uh, less heat than the uh, rear cylinder does. If it's 40 degrees out, the cylinder's gonna put out so much heat, and if it's 80 degrees, it'll put out some, if it's 100 degrees, it'll put out so much heat. So the hotter the cylinder, I suppose, that it's gonna warm the air up, and you're gonna get uh, warmer air going into the air box, so you have to be the judge of what the temperature is going into your air box at any one time. Someday I'd like to stick a probe in there and just a temperature probe just to see what the temperature is at different ambient temperatures. And here's what you get with the kit. You get a bunch of zip ties here, about some rubber hose there, probably, I don't know, six or seven feet, I don't know. Uh, a rubber washer, uh, the uh, catch can, in this case it's a uh, black, powder coated black, and three worm screws, another piece of hose, and some connectors, a hose connector. If I can take a second just to talk about this uh, catch can that comes with the kit. It's a uh, billet aluminum, and it's pretty quality made. And it's got a sponge inside there, and a couple of three sponges there. And uh, it's pretty quality uh, made part, and uh, I'm pretty impressed, and it's pretty hard to impress me. Okay, so I plugged the, the breather tube hole in the back of the air cleaner element, and uh, I'm gonna put some thread locker on this uh, bolt here and put it all together. And, but I don't remember what the torque value was, so I'm gonna have to go look on my iPhone. 
iPhone and there's my e service manual I'll open that up I already found out where to go I go to page 2.1 to find the torque values and here's the torque value chart second one from the bottom says air cleaner element screws 55 to 60 inch pounds okay that's what I'm gonna do I wonder if I can see it a little closer there probably not but we'll check it out all right okay so I'll go on over there and put some uh, blue thread locker on the bolt and uh, tighten it up with my trusty uh, inch pound torque wrench okay I got the air cleaner element back on and I uh, got the three bolts in and uh, put some uh, blue thread locker on them and torqued them down to 60 inch pounds and then I put the OEM uh, breather tube on both sides and at the T there uh, I zip tied this tube and this tube came from the kit and I cut it short to where I, I, I needed it. So I searched in vain where I thought this catch can could go somewhere but I just really couldn't find anywhere that I liked it to go and I really wasn't thrilled about uh, drilling a hole in my air cleaner uh, case there. So uh, here's what I decided to do. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Just cut out this hole with this jigsaw and uh, see how that works. Okay, the jigsaw just does a real nice job. It just pushes down in there and then I'm going to go around in a circle. So I'm going to cut, I cut way inside the circle and I'm just going to use these vice grips to pull the centerpiece out and uh, see what happens. Anyway, it's a tight fit and uh, that's what I was looking for. Okay, I decided to put it uh, right here uh, inside uh, the air cleaner. Uh, it's in there pretty uh, solid. It's in there pretty solid. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, I did some experimenting uh, with oil and gas on this uh, material that I got it encased in. And I want to show you what I did there. And this is the material I use to uh, wrap that catch can in. It's pretty dense and it doesn't ch chip away at all. And uh, I'm just going to test it with this uh, torch right here. You can see, let's see how fast it takes. A, uh, it's pretty hot, as you know, flaming fire. Enough to melt solder. So here we go. Can't even hardly tell. There it is. Finally starting to smoke. Yeah. Well, it took quite a bit to go in. It melted quite a bit. I don't know if you can see it, but it melted it, but I mean, that's pretty hot, right? So now I'm just going to go around the edges and see if it gets brittle. I'll get back to you. Okay, so I took the, the uh, torch there and I kind of went around uh, that area there, torched it all up, and I uh, kind of melted it. But it got kind of hard, but it's not flaky at all. Uh, I'm thinking it's a... Uh, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice, really. It ain't going to flake off to go up into the uh, air cleaner anywhere. And also, uh, it'd have to burn through the air cleaner uh, backing plates, uh, rubber backing plates or plastic backing plates before it got into this, this thing. Okay, my next experiment I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, gasoline right here and I'm gonna lay it on top of this, uh, this foam here, like this. And I'm gonna let it just uh, drip around there for a little bit and see if it does anything. And then I'm also going to do this. Uh, I gotta go get some oil. And I'm gonna take some oil and uh, drip some oil on it like this. And let, it, let it all sit for, oh, I don't know, several minutes probably. And then uh, just see if it uh, deteriorates the material at all see if it's worthy to be in the air box. All right, so I let it soak in uh, for a couple, I don't know, three or four minutes, and uh, then I took a clean rag like this, and I wiped it up real good, and uh, the rag was pretty wet when I got done, and hardly anything soaked into the, uh, the foam at all. Okay, so I used this, and I pulled a bunch of stuff out of here, and uh, now I'm just gonna fill it full of oil. Uh, this guy here full of oil quite a bit there. And then I'm gonna take some gasoline from this uh, little glass thing here and put, uh, let's just do three of those babies. One, two, 
That's quite a bit, Th three. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it outside and let it set overnight and uh, come and look at it in the morning and see if it ate a hole in it or if it's still kind of there, you know. Okay, so it's the next day and uh, about uh, quarter to 10 in the morning, I'm gonna go out there and get that uh, styrofoam and, and check it out, see what kind of damage has been done. Okay, I brought it in from the outside and uh, you, I don't know, hope we can see this. Uh, the thing's still full of oil right there, just as much as I put in, it hasn't penetrated at all. And uh, the gasoline one uh, is, uh, still wet inside there, smells like gasoline. And uh, well, it don't look like it's ate any up here. Uh, as I try to try to peel, try to peel some stuff off there, see if I can get any, see if I can get any, uh, anything to come off. And nothing's peeling away at all. My fingers are all wet. Now I'm gonna go with the oil here. And uh, I'm trying to pull the stuff off the oil, or pull the stuff off the, and nothing seems to be coming, uh, coming out of that thing. So it didn't deteriorate at all, sitting there for, well, I put it on at seven o'clock last night, so it's been 12, 13, 14, 15 hours for right now. So uh, I think we're okay to put it in there. Okay, there you have it. You got the tubes in place and the catch can in place. And I'm gonna put the, uh, the cover back on now. Okay, job finished. <laughs>